Hello dear students, hope you are doing good. Welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gisela. Now in previous video we had learned about the basic concepts of quadrilateral like what is quadrilateral, what are the properties of a quadrilateral, sum of angles of a quadrilateral and then we learned about sum of angles of any polygon and also each angle of a regular polygon. Then we had also learned about sum of all the exterior angles of any polygon. Now in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to solve some examples based on the basic concepts which we have learned in the previous video. So let's start with example 1. Now the first example is find the sum of interior angles of a pentagon by dividing it into triangles. So this is our first example. Now let us start the solution. Let A, B, C, D, E be a pentagon. Join AC and AD. That means we will get two diagonals AC and AD. Now this, these two diagonals will divide pentagon into three triangles. And we know that the sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degree. So accordingly we can say in triangle ABC angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degree. This is our first equation. Similarly, in triangle ACD, angle 4 plus angle 5 plus angle 6 is equal to 180 degree. This is our equation 2. In triangle ADE, angle 7 plus angle 8 plus angle 9 is equal to 180 degree. This is our equation 3. Now, after getting 3 equation, we shall add them. So, we shall add 1, 2, 3 and we shall write angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 4 plus angle 5 plus angle 6 plus angle 7 plus angle 8 plus angle 9 is equal to 180 degree plus 180 degree plus 180 degree. So we have added both uh, the left hand side and the right hand side. Now rearranging them we shall write angle 1 plus in bracket angle 2 plus 5 plus angle 6 plus 7 in bracket then plus angle 3 plus angle 4 plus angle 9 in bracket plus angle 8 is equal to 540 degree. Now angle 1 is B angle and 2 and 5 combined together form angle C. 6 and 7 combined together and form angle D and now angle 3 plus angle 4 plus angle 9 combined together to form angle A and angle 8 is angle E and total of this is 540 degree. Now we can write in an order, we can say angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D plus angle E is equal to 540 degree. And this is what we had to calculate. We had to find the sum of interior angles of a pentagon by dividing into triangles. So the sum of interior angles is coming 540 degree. Now let us take up example 2. Find the sum of interior angles of a regular hexagon also find the measure of each angle. So in this question we have to find the sum of interior angles of a regular hexagon and also we have to find each angle of this regular hexagon. So number of sides of hexagon is 6. So sum of 6 angles is given by formula n minus 2 into 180 degree. Basically n minus 2 represent number of triangles which can be formed in a hexagon and into 180 degree because sum of all the angles of triangle is 180 degree. So basically we are multiplying number of triangles into 180 degree and we get the sum of all the interior angles of regular hexagon. Now we shall put the value so 6 minus 2 into 180 degree is equal to 720 degree. Now since this hexagon is a regular hexagon we can therefore find each equal angle by the formula n minus 2 into 180 degree upon n. So basically if you try to understand this formula n minus 2 into 180 actually gives us a sum of all the interior angles of this regular hexagon and we are just dividing by number of angles. So accordingly we shall put the value 6 minus 2 into 180 upon 6 which is equal to 720 degree upon 6 which is equal to 120 degree. So we can say over here sum of angles of regular hexagon is 720 degree and measure of each angle is 120 degree. Now let us take up example 3. Find the measure of x in the given figure. 
so over here a figure is given to us in which exterior angles are mentioned and one of the angle is x which we have to find now we know that the sum of measures of exterior angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degree so we can say 120 degree plus x plus 80 degree plus 30 degree is equal to 360 degree further 230 degree plus x is equal to 360 degree now x is equal to 360 degree minus 230 degree which is equal to 130 degree so the value of x over here is 130 degree so this is it hope you have understood these examples please do like and subscribe my channel thank you everyone have a great day ahead